To create a custom theme, we can go to Settings, Customizations, and then select Themes. Now from here I'm going to select the out of the box default theme and that is because the easiest way to create a custom theme is by cloning an existing one. So here I'm going to select clone and this way you only have to change the colors that you don't want instead of creating all of the colors from scratch. So I'm going to change the theme name to my custom theme. Now moving on to logo. There is the Dynamics 365 logo, which you are able to change by using the logo lookup field. This way, by clicking on the logo, just like if you would now, it will revert you back to your homepage or dashboard. So I'm going to look up the logo web resource, and a note to make for this field is to make the image 400 by 50 pixels. Now moving down the line, I'm going to be changing colors by using hex codes, which can be found online. So you can see I've changed the navigation bar to an orange. And for the title text color, I'm going to change that to a pink. And then the main color, I'm just going to make a little lighter. And then moving down to the other elements, I'm just going to change some of the colors. So for the hover link color, I'm going to make that a light green. And then for both the default entity colors, I'm going to make one purple and then one yellow. So once you're done selecting colors, you're actually able to preview the custom theme before publishing it. So I'm going to go up and select preview. And from here we can already see the difference from the original compared to the custom. So now I'm going to exit the preview. And since I'm satisfied with how it looks, I'm going to go ahead and publish the theme. Next, I'm going to go back to my dashboard and drop down the sales menu. And by doing that, we can see that some of the text has changed to that pink color and some of the entity icons have changed to either purple or yellow. And even when I go back to my list of themes, we can see that the color of the text has changed and every time I hover over the text, there is that light green color. And that is how to create a custom theme. Oh,